it's funny uh, those Euro blokes out there that aren't probably making fun of us for driving American trucks in the, and, and trailers in this game it takes some skill to maneuver a 53 footer on these roads and a conventional and, cab yeah conventional cab and at the parking spots we go to oh, or for the yeah. destinations where you drop off what is the uh, what's the length because Euro has like their length they can't go past a certain length yeah I'm not sure what they're I'm not sure what it is Ours is 53. I've never seen anything over 53. I know they make like 58. But that. The common one I see on the road is 53. It yeah. used to be 48. 48 used to be what you used to see all the time. Then yeah. they came along with the 53. Uh, um, Seems legit. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know. Never seen that before. <laughs> that... That's a TSM glitch. That Gotta was be. that was amazing. Are we in like, TSM territory? We might be. No, because if we were, we would have a lot more uh, gas stations along the way. I don't think we're in TSM. I don't. No, I don't think we are. This looks like yeah. The see, like yeah. This is default. And then there's Paris. Wait, was Paris in normal? I don't think it was. Yeah, I can't even Paris. Tell yeah, Paris was. I made. I've done runs to Paris before. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. That was because we're almost a toll city. But the thing is, ready. also TSM has added stuff to the normal map. Yeah, like, I know. Uh, Alex said in Berlin, they added buildings that are actually in Berlin. Right. So I don't know. That was that was fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, seems legit. That's SCS for you. It's like, uh, yeah, this is fine. They'll just drive through it and then they'll forget about it in three seconds. Yeah. And that's true. That's how a lot of that works. It's not, these aren't game breakers. I'm like, when you see glitches like that, they're not game breakers. Uh, we play GTA 4. Oh, yeah. Modded. So, I'm fine with seeing some. <laughs> I am like, dude, I'm so serious. I just want to, like, uninstall it, reinstall it. I, I want to know, but it's not just me. Something's got to be causing all that traffic to act the way it's been. Dude, I have no it idea. Never did that before. I have ever. no idea. I think what happened is somebody's pass. Because I know in that one game, that one episode, Cluster Death, yeah. that happened because I had my pass still from that Route 66. Yeah, but I removed all of those. Yeah, but I think maybe somebody hasn't. Oh, uh, maybe. It's possible that maybe like Chris uh, hasn't. First toll. Yeah, yeah first Chris. Toll. Look at this. Look at this map. Anyway. Up ahead, it's just going to be Toll City. Toll, I see toll, three toll, toll. tolls. Yep. Oh. Um, how do they do that over there in France? Like, dude, I don't know. Drive me nuts. I'm so glad that I don't. I'm still contracting because I don't pay for the tolls. Oh yeah, you don't, do you? They nope. get expensive after a while. Yeah, I've I'm, seen some I'm over for like eighty. I'm an owner operator. I just yeah, I just uh, got rid of my Kenworth and. Got, got my Peter built now. We're just gonna so say deal. fuck it. I always well, say I have fuck the... it when I'm coming out of the toll. People are letting me over. <laughs> oh, I know. I did too. Make way for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got that. That was good. I got it down like with this uh, Peter built. Yeah, yeah. I've got it down now. Like I do. What is it? Two, six. Then I go into like eight or something like that, I, or no, or nine. I don't remember what it is. I can't remember the sequence. Yeah. Typically, I go two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it depends on. It, it, it all depends on the load too. Yeah. Yep. I think I've had this one before. I think I've. I think I've ran ice cream to Paris. Well, not to Paris at least. Yeah. You've probably run. Don't but, you merge? Oh. I wasn't gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have pulled out one more inch, we would have nailed him. Oh, yeah. We would have took the front of his car off. That entire family would be dead. Mm -hmm. They would not be alive. Mm How -hmm. are you doing on gas? Oh, we're almost full. Oh, oh yeah. You're right. We, this this, this Peterbilt gets amazing gas mileage. That's why I, that's why I got it. I it's bought amazing one. Amazing gas mileage. Yeah, oh, I'm definitely going to buy one. There's no doubt that I'm going to end up with this truck. It's just when... I don't yeah. want to be in too much debt. That's my. That's the only thing stopping me. Yep, she's a beauty. 
And you go with this 53 footer, you got to ride that. I know you got to go way over. And I think I'm going to have to downshift. Yep. I wish there was an easier way to access the right side mirror. I, I think I would start using virtual mirrors with the 53 footer though. I'd rather just have the virtual mirror so I can see it rather than just guessing. Oh, fuck. oh shit, he's coming too. Is he gonna let yeah, me through? That? Oh, he might. Yeah, I think he's going to. But I don't know what is this, this guy doing. Wanker right here. Come on. All right, I think I'm just I'm just gonna go. Yep, yep, yeah, go. You got it. You got it. You got it. Looks good. Looks good. Oh, don't edge up on us, you dick. Uh, we made it. Oh, oh my man, god, that so was close. close. <laughs> This is why you don't have conventional cab 53 footers <laughs> on European roads. That was ridiculous. Well, they still drive them over there, but oh, golly. Man. That's the problem. The AI just edges up on you. Yeah, edge. I know. They're like, oh, I'm going to let you go. And then they just. Oh, what do you know? Another toll. Yeah, it's a fucking shocker. Instant. Insta toll. Yep. They're like, no, you got to pay to go on this road. It's it's beautiful and it's been restored. Yeah, it seems legit. Looks the same as the free roads. <laughs> yep. Except it's in France, probably. I don't like how that chain of fence is right around there. Oh, there's a two lane highway. Yeah. These can be dangerous. Very dangerous, especially with these 53. I hope we don't hit any switchbacks because then I'm fucked. Oh, yeah, you'll be fucked. Or you just got to go slow and then what I did slow and wide. Yeah, practicing wise, I just drive off onto the shoulder. I use the shoulder and some of the grass. Yeah, yeah, I, I do too I if think, I need it. Yeah, I think that in real life, if you were in that situation with this kind of truck over there, you would do that too. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if I need yeah. to go off road to get, you know, without hitting somebody, look at this guy passing me. Oh, yeah. I'm Why? not slowing down, you asshole. Good. Let me flash my high beams. Oh, yep. I can't. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> <This hole. laughs> They're probably like, what did we do? Uh, I was trying to overtake. Well, actually, they're over there in France, so it'd be oh, more like, yeah, that's true. Uh, coming around, it will be. Wee wee. Do we want to come around your car? But these mirrors on the hood with this trailer really oh, help. Uh, oh, big time. They look because they're, especially they on look the right retarded. side. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they look retarded, but they they freaking out. Yes, they do. Well, most of the trucks on the highways over here have them. Yeah, they're pretty common. And I see why now. Yeah, you got to be able to see that right side without having to turn your head all the way to the right. I just really wish this camera was just a little like right a little more there, to the right. Like right oh, there. Oh, yeah. That yep. would be perfect. That would be so amazing. And we can't, we can't make it one, can we? We might that. be able to edit the camera file. Going yeah, for it. I would imagine it just needs to be turned to the right a little bit. Because I mean, people edit the seating positions, so there has to be something for the camera. Yeah, there it is. And see, to me, I want the seating position here to be well, just a tad forward. Um, because it seems like he's just a little back into the seat. Maybe, yeah. He might be tall though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, I'm a tall driver, but I don't usually see the bottom of my steering wheel like that. Uh, yeah. It's hard to say. I guess it I would just, I would have scoot it up enough to where that mirror is like touching the left side of my screen. Oh so, yeah. Yeah, that's what I would do. But it's not bad right now. Get used to it. Yeah. I like that it's always 68 degrees outside. Yep, always. Always. <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> That's one thing though. I, I really like this truck, but I, I kind of wish the gauges were a little, like, I wish they kind of, they worked really. I think the yeah. engine oil temp, only one of them works. Yeah, but it's a modded truck, so I don't think they ever intended yeah. to, to deal with these kind of engines. It just, it would have been nice to be able to tell, especially with the new yeah. air brake simulated, like, that you can, mm -hmm. you don't have an air uh, pressure. Yeah, PSI gauge. Yeah, PSI gauge. That kind of sucks. Oh, this guy's slowing down up here. What's he doing? 
Oh, there's a fucking train crossing. Oh shit. That's good. Uh, that's good eye. Watching for it. Which in here in America, you'd have to stop the railroad tracks before crossing them. Yep. I don't know what it's like over there in Europe. I'm sure somebody will let us know. Uh, you guys didn't stop at the train tracks. Yeah. This ice cream. This ice cream's gonna melt. Now, got it. Yep, it's in a reefer. Yep. Good. It's good. Plus, the reefer unit goes out on us. Right. Then I really mess. wish we could get gas in uh, on the reefer. Yeah, I know. That would be cool. There's so much to trucking that this game kind of doesn't add. Yeah, yeah, I know. Especially a lot of the stuff to do with the fifth wheel or like in just the in, tedious the, stuff. Or just even really moving going. your t moving tandems and stuff. Oh, moving tandems would be fucking amazing. Yep. Oh, this is a pretty cool road. Yeah. It's really neat. You manage your speed well through here. That's good. Not a you, mess. Yeah, sometimes I speed, sometimes I don't. Really depends on what I'm hauling. If I'm hauling flatbeds, like, you know, the two flatbeds on that one flatbed? Right. If I'm hauling that, I'll go a little fast because it's only 16 tons. It's not heavy at all. Yeah, flatbeds on flatbeds. Yeah. Which hopefully one day we can have American flatbeds on American flatbeds. Yep, I've seen it. Because that's, I really like that load for some reason. I don't know. To me, that's just the generic load. Is yeah. Flatbeds carrying flatbeds. My favorite is a, uh, well, I love reefer units. There's nothing better to me. Yeah. What you've got on right now is my favorite trailer. Oh, it's, I, I love this trailer. It just looks so good. It is. It's so well made, too. Like, the detail is just, oh. Yep. I've been watching uh, 1776 films. Oh, on yeah. YouTube. Yep. I've been watching love all it. his videos. Yep. Except awesome. I, his last video, he said he might not be making videos anymore. Yeah, I know. I hope he does. I but hope he really. He's. It was so awesome. I know but, you learn a lot. You learn a lot from it. And he drove one of these 387. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh shit. Fucking. Woo. Man, I'm getting into this. I I got a little <laughs> scared there. <laughs> got a little scared. Uh, these people just want to die. That's all it is. That's what's crazy is the more immersion you get in these games, the more you you don't want to fail. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the best way I can explain it is like me and my buddy, we flew those level D simulators of uh, DC nine and a seven fifty seven, but you were in an actual cockpit. Right. And when you get into a stall situation, you like a crash situation that they put you in, you do you get scared. It scares the hell out of you. Oh, Not to yeah. mention that it drops a G, adds a G. So it's negative and plus a negative, or minus right. one and plus one G, and it, it tilt 45 degrees. But holy cow. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, whenever that car, when that car was pulling out, <laughs> I was like, oh. And that's the best part is getting the game, getting into the game for the simulation. Like, exactly. I know when I'm driving, like, by myself, not recording, if I mm -hmm. want to stop to get a drink, I'll wait till I get to a rest stop and I'll pull off and I'll stop. Completely yep, turn my way. truck off and then go do whatever I need to do. Yep. It's the same thing like well in, in flight simulator whenever I I can't just pause the game. I have to land at the airport I'm going to and then mm -hmm. I don't do anything until I get out. Yep. Just like but, real life. Get your yep, money's like worth. The, yep. We're the hardcore crowd, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I would say we're hardcore ETS fans. I would say so. I didn't know. I had no idea. I always st stayed away from it because it was Euro Truck. But I mean, yeah, I can't believe we we went so it. many months without playing this game. I know. Well, you sold it to me. You're like, trust me. I thought it was going to be stupid. And oh, it was it's oh, <sighs> I'm so happy that we found this game. Yep. It's and just yes, American even, Truck Simulator is going to be. Oh, I know. You'll never see me again. And the never best way I can. <laughs> oh, we're in Paris. Yeah, almost there. But the um, what I was telling the. Well, what I was going to say to the European people is that, you know, that make fun of us for driving European or American trucks in in Europe. It's the same kind of thing as if we had an American truck simulator and they were driving Euro trucks over here. Yeah. It's like you just if if it's your home and it's things that you know and love, you know. Yeah. The thing is, so I've drive. never seen a Euro truck in real life. 
I haven't either. I'd love to, though. They are cool. Yeah, but it's just, for me, trucking is this. This is yes. trucking. Yep. Yes, it is. So I want to get, if I'm going to go all-out simulation, fuck. I want to get, you know, what I know from it, which is American mm -hmm. trucks and trailers. The only thing that really sucks is I don't understand these road signs. What is this, like, blue sign uh, in front of us? I think that's no waiting or something. Blue with a red line through it? It's a line through it? It's uh, no, yeah, no waiting or no stopping or whatever there. I don't know. Sure. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, it's all right. Pay attention. That happens. And plus, you got a 43 footer is, or a 53 footer. Whenever you go through these intersections, you make people miss lights, just like in real life. Yep. Oh, we got a room to boot. I hate these fucking things. I They're always use my mouse to go through to look because I always do this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but see, you got an awesome mouse. I need to get a trackball. They they take a little bit of time getting used to, but it's but so you do, nice you because you don't, you don't have, have to move your whole arm. It's just your thumb. Yeah. What is this guy uh, doing? Uh, he wants to come over. Yeah, I, I, you fucking. He's coming over. Oh, is he coming over? No, fuck him. No, we made it. We're good. Yeah, you're, yeah we're good. We are. But good. yeah, roundabouts are starting to uh, pop up all over the place here in the United States. Really? I, I haven't yeah. seen any. Yep, they're starting to get really popular. When I was up in Minneapolis, we had several of them up there. I was like, what is this? Hmm. It's funny because you people are a lot. We, we're, we don't we're not taught how to drive them. No, in the, man, in the manuals. It's no. just like, oh, well, we have a roundabout. So, yeah, no, I've everything I went through my driver's training, getting my license, all that. Not no. a single thing about going through a roundabout. Like, I don't know the right of way or anything. It's just like, yep, you just go into it. I assume you just yield to whoever's in the roundabout. Yeah, I think whoever's entering is yielding. And I've yeah, and I have learned this oh, just by fine. what yeah, it's close. I've learned it just by watching the AI traffic. Yeah, in, yeah. in this game, <laughs> if you just sit there and watch them, you're like, okay. I assume they programmed them correctly. Yeah, I would hope so. But then again, merging in this games. Come on, it's green. Oh uh, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. What does he do? Oh, he's yielding. No, he's not yielding. What is he doing? He's making a you made us miss the light, you son of a bitch. Unbelievable. There he goes. What a what an asshole. I'll remember. Red maybe man. he's maybe he was lost. He was. Nah. I don't Jeez, know. That's... Go back to France. <laughs> We're in France. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Paris. We're in Paris. Oh. This guy's not gonna turn him left in front of me. Well, he'll try. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Yeah. I'm actually pretty impressed with a lot of the AI, so. Yeah, yeah the only thing I can complain about is the merging. It's terrible. Yep. Other than that. Oh, here we go. At our destination. Very nice. Yeah, the, the way out, like, I know we were talking about how we pull in and you back trailers in. Right. From my experience working around docks and everything and working with trucks, if they have the room to do what you just did, they'll do it. Right. They don't want to back in 90 degrees if they don't have to. Because yeah. then, you, and like right now, like I would be getting out of the truck and spotting you. Oh my God. Yeah, this is off. Yeah. We must. Just gonna have to get a better angle on it. Man, the 53 footer is just huge. You don't realize it. You don't realize it because I mean, like with the truck and the trailer, you're you're over 60 feet. Oh, yeah. I mean, time. it's like 60 feet. That's that's just nuts. Yeah, it's absolutely <sighs> nuts. The thing about like rig and roll is that you have that, but you don't even realize it. Yeah, the, well, because the know, roads are set up for it. Yep. American roads. And we're not saying that America's like the best thing in the world. No. It is home, so it's probably mm -hmm. like. Oh, I love that light on the side of it. Oh, the I know. Hazards on. Oh. oh, yeah, you got her. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this one, you want to bump you bump against the things. Yep. Yeah, slightly. I've watched these guys nail them into the 
things too. It just shakes the building. Just boom. Because sometimes like you get a newer driver and they just pop the clutch. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. Parking brake. Turn off flashers. Truck's already off. Oops, turn it back on. Yeah. There we go. Drop it. Oh, you have that signed to a button? Yeah, it's it's on the red button. Oh, nice. There we go. Quick little run. You're leveling up. Leveling up. Level 17. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're coming up. I'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm level 20 now. Go ahead and save it. Just in case. Save one contracting. You have to buy it. Hopefully soon, I'll buy my truck. And yeah. uh, we can get some paints on it and get J&B Trucking uh, official. Yeah, we actually try to bring this company up from the ground. You yeah. you got to show me how to get new drivers, so I don't even know how to do that. Yeah, well, we can go through all that, and we can do this more often. Jeff, ride with me. I'll ride with him, and I'll ride with other I, people in Code Zero and all that. I like it. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. It is, yeah. It's a lot watching. of fun. Yeah. It's not boring. No, it's not. It's just two people sitting in a truck. That's true. It's better than me just sitting here blabbing about absolutely nothing. <laughs> This is true. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we will see you in the next one. Take care.